Hi everyone, welcome to your mid-month reading for all Sagittariuses for the month of June 2017. I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, oh, there we go. Cards just flew out. They want to talk to you guys. All right, here we go. So I'm going to pull seven cards, and then I'm going to pull another seven cards on top of that. So it'll pretty much resemble for seven cards for one week, and then another seven cards for the next. Um, so I'll just get into it here. I'll pull out the first seven cards. Oh, okay, they fell upside down. The first card we have is the Ace of Wands. The second card we have is the Nine of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Moon. We have the Hermit. The Fool. And we have the Four of Wands. All right, you guys. So let's see what's happening for you guys. Um, hopefully you guys, if a situation did come up, if you haven't checked out the monthlies um, and you're just tuning in with the mid-months, the monthlies still stand. Uh, they're kind of a different reading, so the energies are different in that one. Um, for those of you that did, hopefully you all uh, handled that similar situation that was supposed to pop up. Uh, in the appropriate manner, you know, maybe, maybe you got a C plus, but you know, it's, it's still a pass. You know? <laughs> You'll do better next time. Uh, I had something pop up and, uh, it was unexpected too. And, um, I probably got a C plus on it, you know, and it'll come up again. Saturn's still in our sign. So it'll keep coming up until you handle it correctly. Maybe with different people, a different scenario, but it'll kind of be the same situation. Um, I just thought it was personally hilarious or I realized it afterwards um, all right you guys so in the past you guys have been like quite creative uh, you've had some sort of new spark new idea some of you it might be um, messages too. you're sending a lot of messages uh, long distance there is distance that's showing up here For those people, it's it's kind of coming up. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a burden for you if you're dealing with somebody long distance. Uh, and I'm getting quite a distance. A lot of messages, too. Over water is coming through here. Uh, maybe messaging is the only way you guys have contact with each other, it seems. Uh, for those of you that that applies to you might you might have to put in a little more effort we have the four of wands here uh, it's stabilizing it because it's coming up as a uh, ace of wands so that means um it's just it's just passion and desire right so we got to kind of ground that we got to get a little more emotions in that uh for some of you guys this could be family saying you might have to um send messages uh to family members even like uh long distance um, it might be saying that you might need to get in tune with maybe some cousins and stuff. Maybe they had some kids or something like that. You know, just check up, bond with them. I'm getting that here too. Um, presently, you guys are quite worried. And for those of you that have your own business, uh, even work, you could be burdened with work. Uh, it could be quite draining for you guys. Um, some of you guys do have a creative idea. Uh, or you have like some sort of vision or... A desire of something you want to do or you've thought about it previously but you you feel like you're still you're like kind of like I'm getting like knocking it away like it's not a it's nothing uh, useful but it, it is though is what it's saying like you, you need to uh, with the hermit here you need to reevaluate that and you might need to take a risk okay like Sages uh, that are younger you might want to talk to somebody who's older, Sagittarians that are in their 30s, 40s, 50s. You guys should have enough wisdom behind you that you do know that there's benefits to taking risks. You just need to be doing it in a calculated manner, right? 
like there's value in it maybe it's something that hasn't been done before but it does like all the more reason that your your idea could work it seems quite burdened though you need time to plan it uh, at work you guys are quite burdened and it's saying that you need to rest or take a vacation as well there is a vacation some of you could be traveling as well as coming through here uh, you definitely need some time to go inwards you guys uh, and think about things It seems like you're, uh, with the Eight of Cups here, what I'm getting is, like, it seems like you're fearing, like, releasing something. Some old way of thinking, some old way of doing something, even, maybe. Um, or it might even be, for those of you at work, it's, like, releasing work. You know what I mean? You're having a hard time, like, stepping away from work. Sag is, uh very much can have a hard time with that. Um, but you definitely have to work at saying... Uh, something's going to come up in that first week where you're going to have to release uh, this burden. But you're, it's not like you're going to, it, like you're fearing this. I'm not sure why you're fearing releasing something or what it is. Uh, could be changing jobs even. But like I said, for some of you guys, it's taking a risk on yourselves here is what I'm getting. Like you're fearing taking the risk on you with the moon card here because it's too there's you don't know everything you can't see everything right like like it's concerning you so like whatever your situation is occurring in that um mid mid month in that first week there um you're really gonna have to go inwards with the hermit here and like reevaluate uh, you could be causing yourself more concern than need be. You know what I mean? Like, um, could be worrying about the wrong things as well. Like, you might need some time to flip the flip the coin. You know, like change your um, your thought thought process here or how you're seeing things. You might not be seeing something here. You're fearing taking a risk, definitely though. This is what's going to come in though from like the universe outside influences you're going to get time to reflect so some of you guys are going to be taking a vacation even if it's on the weekend uh that's coming up like taking some time away from stuff even you know like i was watching modern family one time um and i actually do this every now and then myself uh but it, like i don't have family and kids right uh in the episode of modern family that that uh i seen it was they wanted to take a trip like away from their spouse like just to get away from their like everything that was happening the chaos you know what i mean we all need it once in, once in a while so maybe like the same thing is applying to you guys you might need a day in a hotel just to like bring a book with you or sit by the pool or just like you know just chillax from everybody you know and then you can give like if you're you have a spouse okay then do one of those cute little coupon cards where they get one of those free days totally gonna bite you in the butt because they'll use it probably you know on on a week that you're 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 probably not gonna want them to use it but you know it'll even the table out right there's a sense here you do need uh to take some time to yourself right it's just just so you can reevaluate things and make plans um some of you could be planning a trip though so this is like researching um, on taking a vacation. Maybe you need to, maybe you can't afford it now, but maybe you can start planning it and seeing, researching where you want to go, you know, just to give yourself the motivation to get there as well, right? Uh, you could be going to visit family as well, it's saying. But what you need to do is be the fool. That is what you need to do. Like, this is optional, though. This is not, like, you, the universe isn't going to force you into this, right? You have free will, right? Like, the universe isn't going to do anything against your will. Uh, so, depending on how you handle that, uh, this will be the outcome. So, you, it's going to involve making plans, such as that could be hard, you know? Like, especially with Saturn in our sign, it kind of feels, sometimes it feels like, um... When I was a kid, I, my mom's Portuguese. Uh, I used to go to the pot to get uh, sauces and stuff like that when she was cooking. And Portuguese, uh, they have these like wooden spoons that they always have in their hand, and they whack you. You're like you're not allowed to go 
touch things in the kitchen. Because uh, one, you're a kid, you can get hurt, right? But uh, they would whack you on the hand with it. Like, no, not really hard or anything, you know? Like, occasionally they did break it, but it didn't hurt. Um, and, and they always pulled out another one that was the exact same. But they would whack you on the hand with it. Uh, the same, like, Saturn in in inner sign, it's like the same thing. Like, you want something, but then you're, like, getting, can't have it. You know what I mean? And then you're like, okay, well, then I should maybe do this. I want that. No, you can't have it, right? <laughs> so then you're just like, Sagittarius are standing there like, okay, so what is it? What is it I'm missing here? What do you want? What am I supposed to do? You know, like the cards are saying that you really need to go inwards and it has to be what what you truly want. Like what you truly want to do here. Uh, it has to be about you, you know? For some of you guys, this might be making your own businesses uh, and whatever, uh, counseling, if you're a counselor, uh, fabricators, welders, um, you know, like if you're an engineer, you know, like contractors, uh, you can even start your own little catering company in your home. It's saying too here. I know a lot of people that do that, you know, like there's something here though that you need to, you need to start planning and securing is what I'm getting. You, you also need to release something, though, it's saying. Okay, so we'll pull out some more here. So what we got here is the Nine of Cups. The Page of Wands. Yeah, you see, it is messages. You might be burdened by it. A lot of people might be messaging you, and you might be getting burdened by it. Or it could be like, you know what I mean? Like your kids, your family members... It's just like you got a lot on your plate and it's really saying that you do, like I was saying earlier, some of you, uh, you might need that one day in a hotel. I do that occasionally. <laughs> I just, one day I'll just decide to go up for a weekend up. I usually go up by, um, one of our, the universities out here, UBC. It's really nice area. I like the atmosphere. It's a lot of young minds. They're, um, curious, you know what I mean? Friendly people around there. Uh, lots of sights to see, lots of little shops. Uh, the beach is right there too, so you can just chillax at the beach. <laughs> like, it's pretty relaxing and it's cheaper than most places. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not the type to get a big, like, a fancy hotel. Like, you're only there to sleep. You know what I mean? Like, and their hotel is actually better than a lot of other hotels I've stayed at. So, you know, you might need to, you know, get, even if you can't do that and then take your kids, it's like talking about, like going and having like a bike ride down at like some major park or you know even fishing if for you men like take your kids fishing it's relaxing camping uh, you got you got to take a day and whatever it is that like relaxes you guys you need to you need to do that it's coming through here we have the emperor The Tower, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you might need to travel for work. It is, it, like, it's saying here with the Hermit. Okay, once you've gone inwards and stuff, um, it's it's for your emotions. Like, you're gonna get some sort of emotional um, offer. It could make you off balance or make you feel burdened. So you're going to have to go inwards to really evaluate it. Uh, like I said, it could be about an idea too that you have. And like with the fool here, the nine of pentacles uh, came out on top of it. It's taking a risk on yourself, right? And it's saying it could take anywhere from nine months to a year. You know, like some of you guys it's school and studying you have to do maybe you know like you need to start researching your board of the uh subject that you're studying and you're not you're more interested in something else you know and maybe you're studying something to appease your parents and like with the hermit uh the moon card yeah all the cards here are saying that you really need to come from what you truly want you know what i mean like uh, you got to start making a, some tweaks here what you have to release is controlling issues. The emperor here we got, right? 
And Sages, let's be honest, we can be quite controlling sometimes. <laughs> Not in the manner like other people are. We're kind of more controlling and we want to do what we want to do when we want to do it. You know what I mean? We can, we're very considerate towards other people. It's just... Uh, the cards are asking you to be a little more compromising with people. Uh, and it could be emotionally. So for some of you, this is saying that you might have to step back emotionally and control your emotions. So you'll know if that's uh, you. And then for others of you, um, I feel like it's saying that you need to be more, um, more emotional. Like you could be quite... Um, withholding emotionally like Sagittarians can be quite stern both male and female we can be quite stern you know that's how we can come up across uh, controlling it's we have a high um, we have values high morals and high integrity uh, so it it can make us come across as controlling in that manner you know what I mean but that's just because that's what a Sag is you know what I mean like there's certain things that we don't tolerate right like those those three things tend to be um, the make it and break it for us, you know, like, but for you, I think it's you gentlemen, I'm, I'm getting for the gentleman, you might be too emotionally controlling. You don't show your emotions at all. Um, if you're dealing with somebody over long distance, then like, you're going to have to show your emotions. <laughs> like, like, you're going to have to like, with the ace of wands and then the four of wands, you're going to be like, write them out. If you can't verbally speak it, then okay. If you're dealing with your loved ones, then do it, um, in any relationship or whatever. Maybe you need to write it out, read it, and then send it that way. You know what I mean? If you can't say it, you know what I mean? Cause it, like there's some sort of releasing that needs to happen and it needs to come out is basically what I'm getting. You get in a lot of messages though. They could be coming in from all angles, all aspects. Work wants you to do overtime, you know, or if you're a manager, people calling you in, asking you questions, what to do with this, what to do with that. Uh, your children could be calling you. Uh, your parents even, they need help with, you know, their internet or you need to fix something for them or do something for them, pick them up at the airport, drop them off. Friends might be calling you up. It's like one of those things I'm getting. It's just going to be a lot of a lot of things by the the second week uh, take some time to yourself though got to pull the last card here we got the 8 of swords now, that's not to worry cuz that's a possible outcome right like so that that depends on how you guys handle things uh, what i'm going to say though is you what you need to do is like the main focus is the hermit okay reflecting we have the nine of cups here so with the ace of wands this could be getting quite pa um passionate carried away with um some of you guys uh sexually you know like uh it's you know you got to do that in moderation so for some of you guys what it's saying here is that like with the emperor and the releasing the emotions even for you women, what it's saying here is you guys might be more focused on, um, like, it's the sexual aspect of it, and you're, like, there needs to be the emotional connection, right? Like, somebody here uh, do not use sex to control the other person. Um, and then that message is coming through, because we have the Nine of Cups that's, and the Emperor, and then eight of cups on top of it yeah so you might be in a new cycle with your partners right like so you're gonna have to be making adjustments still or we do have the tower i don't like when the tower comes up i used to hate this card now i don't mind it you know it, it has good and bad where um this is this is like to me what i'm getting is your plans might go awry all right like and you're gonna have to make adjustments so you could be getting an offer with a new partner um, in business, uh, some of you guys, it's a child, you might get pregnant, that's coming up, I talked about that in the beginning of the month, so then your plans have to be adjusted, right, something shocking is going to come in, um, this isn't something that you're going to be able to avoid, so with the moon there, it's, it's clarification, you're going to get clarification on something, like, 
I don't, for each of you, it's going to be different, but you're going to get the clarification on something. Uh, you're going to have no control over that tower coming in. It's, to me, it's looking positive though, right? Because you have the Ace of Cup here and the Hermit. So it is positive. It's going to create some sort of new start for you guys. Don't, so don't. Don't get stuck in your head too much and worry, all right? Because I think what it is for some of you guys is like you can't see all the facts, okay? In some scenario or some aspect, it's getting you off balance. And to gain balance, some of you could be a. Uh, becoming firmer you know like like what I'm getting like with the control it's like becoming more firm and stern you know like it's just because you might have or it might have even been in the past you've had so much coming at you that um, you know you just you're just like whoa <laughs> you're just you don't know how to react you know or you have no choice but to be firm uh, but you do need to release something some of you guys, you need to, you might need to, it's talking about children here, being the father with your children, so spending more time with your children. Um, one of your children could be acting out, or maybe even do something shocking, but in a positive way. It could, it could really, uh, you could be quite proud of your children. Spending more family time together, though, it's definitely coming through. Okay. So we have the four of pentacles. I just pulled an extra card for the tower. And this is like holding on. Yeah. So it's going back to like releasing emotions. Old emotions you might be holding on to. So old things that could have happened in the past. For some of you guys it could be to do with your father. Maybe abandonment issues. Or it could be um, a father that passed away. So you have some emotional repression built up. Um, or it could just be you know like something to do with parents and, and the children. There's some sort of like you're holding on to something that happened. Uh, you're going to have to release it, whatever it is. For each of you, it'll be different. Yeah, okay, you guys. That's, that's all I'm getting for you. Hopefully you have a good month and I will talk to you next month. Ciao for now.